this. Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you're carrying, eh, lad? Although I would like to have anchored a bit closer to ah, Blows. Expecting free information, eh? Help me deal with business first. Then we'll see how I can help you. Besides, you look like your pockets are a little light on coin. Am I right? Lady Helga, so pleased to see you. The marks have developed. Pressing on a golden opportunity is worse. I can't wait to use them. I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under a stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. Good. Wait until I start the distraction, then show me what you're made of. Everyone, everyone, gather round. I have something amazing to show you that demands your attention. Gather round, all. Come on, Brignol. What is it this time? Patience, Branche. This is a rare opportunity. And I wouldn't want you to get left out. When I'm done here, well, that was a simple misunderstanding. But this item is the real thing. Lads and lasses, I give you Falma Blood what the Elixir. Oh, come on. Are you talking about the Snow Elves? The one and only. Mystical beings who live in legends and were masters of... Magic. Imagine the power that coursed through their veins. How did you get that? No one's seen it in years. My sources must remain a secret for their own protection, but I can promise you that the contents are genuine. One sip of the elixir and your wishes will be granted. Great wealth, everlasting life, or perhaps limitless power could be yours. How much does it cost? Only 20 gold septums. Hurry, before my supply is Get gone. away from me! Don't listen to him, he's making this up. Learn a library's worth of knowledge in moments. Something's right. Maybe I'll buy one. Oh, excuse me, my lord. I'll be glad to sell you an elixir after I'm done with these fine people. Come see me in the market if you're looking for the finest custom jewelry in all of Skyrim. I do. Sadly, I'm one of the few traditional Saxlil jewelers that remains in Tamriel. It's becoming a lost art. Only trouble is gathering materials has become hazardous. The roads to the mines and to the other cities are thick with bandits, and worse. Would you be interested in gathering some materials for me? I'd certainly be happy to compensate you. Thank you, Landstrider. I'm seeking a small list of items to complete my next creation. Two flawless sapphires, a mammoth tusk, and a chunk of gold ore. Not well, I'm afraid. That Brynjolf, he keeps draining the people's pockets with his ridiculous miracle cures. A few months ago, it was Troll Fatsav, and now he's got something new. Not that there's anything that can be done about it. He's in good with the Thieves' Guild. All meets guaranteed clean and Safe travels, Landstrider.
vegetables as crisp as a wheat. This morning. Oh, excuse me, my lord. I'll be glad to sell you an elixir after I'm done with these fine people. Well, I see that my time is up. Come back tomorrow if you wish to buy. What a waste of time. Nah. My organization's been having a run of bad luck, but I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. Even though you fouled up the job, I still think you've got the spark I'm looking for. There's plenty of gold out there for the taking, if you're up to the challenge. All right then, let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Riften, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you really got what it takes. Rare trinkets and the finest oddities from Moro. Hey. Can I get a gold or two? If you're looking for a handout, you'll Again? with my husband. Buy some food if this time, will you? Company, I suppose I could do worse. Greetings, honored friend. Could I interest you in some fine jewelry? Around somewhere, all planning to welcome feed the, the temple of nonsense about Mara. Buy some armor and live to tell about it. Find jewelry here.
never should have come here. are over. I'm telling you, this one is different. We've all heard that one before, Bryn. Quit kidding yourself. It's time to face the truth, old friend. You, Vex, Mercer, you're all part of a dying breed. Things are changing. Dying breed, eh? Well, what do you call that, then? Well, well. Color me impressed, lad. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Reliable and headstrong? You're turning out to be quite the prize. So, now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Kirava, Bursi Honeyhan, and Helga. Do this right. And I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. Good. If you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Now get going. Helga is a devout follower of Debella, and dotes over the statue to the Divine that she keeps at the bunkhouse. Use it as leverage, and she'll cave. Kirava's stubborn, but she's got a soft spot for family. Talk to Tal and Jay at the B and Barb, and see if you can get something out of him. They're... well acquainted, if you catch my meaning. He's as pig-headed a man as you'll ever find. The key is that ugly dwarven urn in his shop. Smash that thing to bits and he'll change his attitude. Yeah, I bet I know your guy. He's hiding out in the Ratway Warrens, paying us good coin for nobody to know about it. I'll be here when you're done. humans to learn your place.
Oh, never find me. <laughs> come here, come here, come here, come here. Go away. What? No, that's not me. I'm not Esbin. I don't know what you're talking about. Delphine? How do you... So, so you finally found her, and she led you to me. And here I am, caught like a rat in a trap. Ah, indeed. Indeed. Uh, I do remember. Delphine really is alive, then. You'd better come in, then, and tell me how you found me. What you want. Knife. Th this'll just take a moment. Yes. Bucket. This one always sticks. There we go. Only a couple more. Bucket. Knife. Book. Eagle. There we are. Come in, come in. No. Make yourself at home. That's better. Now we can talk. So, Delphine keeps up the fight after all these years. I thought she'd have realized it's hopeless by now. I tried to tell her years ago. Haven't you figured it out yet? What more needs to happen before you all wake up and see what's going on? Aldwin has returned just like the prophecy said. The dragon from the dawn of time who devours the souls of the dead. No one can escape his hunger, here or in the afterlife. Alduin will devour all things, and the world will end. Nothing can stop him. Ah, I tried to tell them. They wouldn't listen. Fools. It's all come true. All I could do was watch our doom approach. Yes, yes. You see, you know, but you refuse to understand. Oh yes, it's all been foretold. The end has begun. Aldrin has returned. Only a dragonborn can stop him. But no dragonborn has been known for centuries. It seems that the gods have grown tired of us. They've left us to our fate as the plaything of Aldrin the World Eater. What? You are? Can it really be true? Dragonborn? Then, then there is hope. The gods have not abandoned us. We must, we must, we must go quickly now. Take me to Delphine. We have much to discuss. But give me just a moment. I must gather a few things. 